NYC street photography. Uh, it's the joint. Yes. Yes, it's definitely the joint. So, um, what does the joint mean, Kurt? Light up. Uh -oh. you, do you smoke weed while you're doing smoke. runs? I don't smoke. I don't smoke. I yeah, used right. To. I used to. Right. <laughs> uh, right. type. I know you light up in the stairway. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I know that type. Um, <laughs> yo, I'm I'm Kurt Boone. Um, for you guys that don't know me, I'm um, a writer. Um, what you write? Messenger, messenger 20 what years. What you write? I write about mess life. A writer or a writer? Yo, mess, mess life. Not what's, to confuse you guys. What's your crew? I what's I your crew? I wish I was, but I write about mess life. Um, and... Recipe, I, stay high, 149. <laughs> Who's a messenger and a writer? Yeah. Who's a writer and a writer? I'll say this. Uh, I brought a few of my books here. I've got 11 books out. Um, my latest is, is called Subway Beats. Um, nice. I spent three years documenting subway musicians and um, that, you know, accumulating that book. This one is uh, called Asphalt Warrior. Yeah. It's kinda this shit is dope right here, though. Seriously? It's very nice. It's very nice. It's it. I'm on your I'm on your pinochle a little bit. All right. But don't okay, get it, don't get thank it you, twisted. Thank you. That's what Warrior takes you into this whole messenger bag store thing. And you guys are in the poets uh bar in New York. That's me. All right, so let's get into NYC street photography. Let's it's the joint. Okay, so to my right, everybody knows Ricky Powell. Not everybody. Okay, you wanna say who you who you are? Duke. I'm just, you know, Joe Schnook from the neighborhood candy store. All right, all right, around the way. Yes, I'm from the village. Around the way, I like that. How about Brian? Yeah, You're yeah. From around the I'm, way too. I'm from around a little bit farther away, but I'm from around the way. I'm from the Bronx. I write dwells. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, city, city. salute to all the BX fellas over here and females. <laughs> and um, my last name's Nobili. I live in Little Italy, Arthur Avenue. Um... He's my see, protector yeah. too. He beats up yeah. bullies. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's I a heard, good one. I heard that it was bring your own goon. Not, you bring yeah, your own man. goon. I, like I brought, the, I brought my own goon. He's selling the birds. Yeah. So if you guys want a book, go see my goon Rosalito. Yeah. We got you. Yes, we have books. Yeah, we got books. I, uh, they got we'll red sign them. Yo, get a, get a copy of the book. Yeah. Nobody signs them like me. All right, so yeah. um, if I may, your personal pontificate is nice. slightly. So this is uh, NYC Street Photography is to join. Uh, my first question to both of you is oh, like, dip. Oh, you got questions? Yeah, I got a oh, few. Oh shit, he I took this seriously. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It's, he it's, did his homework. It's a joint, right? And it's curated. So you got a bunch of legendary photographers in here. Jamel Shabbat, Sue Kwan, John Conzo, Shell Dunn, Estevan Oreo, Akira Ruiz, Craig Weatherby, Peter Paybon. SDJ and Baba. Now, now, hold up. This guy, you don't know how to pronounce the name. Tell me. Oh, oh, I said it's it It's Babon. Babon. Even I know that. Okay, so how do all these things Where is that Jake off? <laughs> anyway. He's coming. So, He's stuck in traffic. He's stuck in traffic. Okay, oh. so I just ran off the name. So how does okay. this project come about? Uh, as far as I know, uh, Brian was working on a book with Sess, the graffiti artist from the Bronx who's like ridiculous. And uh, he just like finagled, you know, an idea to the book company on street photography since Brian is a street photography enthusiast. And then he got the deal and then, you know, he brought me in and I, to curate, which to me, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to pick a crew of photographers for their street shit. And that's, you know, wow, I get to do that. Wow, that's, that's, and everybody on our list accepted. We yeah, have any, yeah, no have problems. Any, yeah, no problems. You know, my criteria is, you know, my two criteria is one, how is the the passion for the person, and second, you know, if they're beautiful souls, good people, because you know I don't put souped up Jake off on. And we don't do nepotism either. Yeah, yeah. Good point. <laughs> the other, good point. That's the other rule. Good point. So, 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 Brian, you know, you we talked a little bit about you. You are. Um, this book also, you was involved with it from the jump. Can you talk about how you, you came about? How it came about for you and, and the whole concept as you brought Ricky on board? Yeah, yeah. well, so I did a book called Graffiti Burners with this company, Document Press, out of um, Stockholm, Sweden, like a, a, a minute ago. And I saw how they presented my work as a contributor, you know, kind of like how we have contributors. 
I was a contributor on Bjorn's book. The guy's name was Bjorn that made the book. And I saw how well they did it. And I was like, that's the company I'm going to roll with when it's my time, you know, to shine. And then I had, like, hit a creative low. And I hit my friend up, Jay McMichael. Shout out. He's, like, the main dude at um, the White House for CNN. And I was like, yo, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. And he was the quarterback for... Um, for a major college. And he was like, make the big play, B. And that's all it took. I was like, all right. The next day I hit up Document Press. And I was like, I'm ready to do a book. And they were like, let's do it. And then, I, and then from there, I just told them the concept. I got Ricky on board. We made our list. Everybody accepted. It was pretty much, it was so easy that it kind of doesn't even that's seem crazy. real to be up here right now. <laughs> I yeah, love it. I love it. I love it. But when it's right, so, but it, but like, isn't that how life really is too? When it's right, it's right, and it just oh, works. Oh shit, he's getting philosophical. Yeah, it just <laughs> works. It ain't it ain't hard right. when it works. Okay, you know, so good point. Cause I, can I just add? Yeah, yeah. You know, as a freelance hustler, a lot of times I come up with ideas and I try to make shit happen, and I just get fucking you know smushed, Tyson Trophy. And then a lot of shit comes at, you know, when you least expect it. I like the city skyline oh, okay. from the projects by SDJ. That's oh. like, that's dope. Yeah, he's dope. He's good at that. Sammy the Jew. Yeah. <laughs> that's what SDJ stands for. Yep. For real? Salute. Yeah. He's not here, though. He's front. No, I said he's He's stuck in traffic, oh. too. All right. Okay. Cuban traffic. Right, I'm going to let him slide. You're going to let him slide. Okay. All right, my next photo is Supan Orchard Beast. Uh. Beach oh, yeah. in the Bronx. Suquan is the shit. Yeah. yeah, I like that one. I, like that one? I asked her to put that shot in. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's another dope shot. Uh, let me see that. Yeah, that, that, that flick is also this the back cover of her book, too. This one. See them Puerto Ricans? <laughs> Always, no, I'm just kidding. But don't you guys kind of like the... Whoop, whoop. Love it, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Don't you guys I'm like... the king of awkward moments. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, don't you kind of like uh, New York City at its best? You know, it's like people having fun. It's not celebrities, like right? it's like real love. Posing for photos, city, right? <laughs> what happened in New York is fun. Yeah, I mean, like it's a great place, man. Yeah, it's the best place, personally. I do a lot of traveling through gigs and shit. They're all nice to visit, but there's nowhere else I could live. All right, all right. Yeah, this is the place to be. Now, how about uh, Jamal Shabazz? Oh, Summer in the city, right? Dude, Brooklyn, that's, that's my home pickle right that's there. A yeah. crazy the shot. I love deal. Jamel. It's my brother, man. Yeah, that's on page 12. I always say to him, you're one of those black guys that still wears black. slacks with shoes. <laughs> I love that about it. Very, very Cadbury, Jamal Shabazz. Damn, what do you guys? That was a singer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Let's All not right. be stiffs. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's find. What's Jamel's picture? Oh, this oh, is Jamel's. Yeah, yeah. I Jamel. love this one. Yeah, yeah. Reminds me of my hashtag, interracial harmony. Let's go. I have a shot similar to this in one of my books with a no black kid? bum and a white businessman. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What are you trying to sound intelligent? I don't know what park it is. <laughs> oh, Stone Tone, our music. I'll just for the evening, this guy right here. Yeah. Say, say hey. Yeah. Yo. What happened with that eight ball radio show we're on? Did anyone listen? Uh, so far on Mixed Call, I got 25 listeners. That listen <laughs> nice. whole, wait, 2,500? Nice. I was one of them. 25? Yeah, so far. I mean, Jeez. Negress <laughs> Productions. <laughs> the famous one here. I'm in your Me, world. dude. It's your world. We're just in it. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, what's up with this home, this, uh, it's a turn. It's falling it's apart, Rick. It's falling What's apart. The term? Uh, homemade. It's falling apart. Oh, dip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's all good. Oh, oh, dip. Dip. So, dip. Anyone have any other questions? No, 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 no. I'm not trying to bomb rush. Uh, I'm not trying to bomb rush. Anyone got any questions? Just to in you want to bomb rush? Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right, go. go okay, I'm sorry. You. I don't mean thank to take over. Yeah, yeah, thank you, man. All right, so. Kurt uh, did put hold this on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a question right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 w
That's huh? a crazy photo, page 12. Oh, with Paul right. Newman? Nah, the one next to it. All right, don't get loud, yo. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah. it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, this is fun. I'm trying to make it. If, you, oh, if you've seen the show The Get Down, most of those images are Joe Conzo images, so you know his work. Yeah. There it is. This? Yeah. Okay. Where is That's Joe Conzo? Love Joe Conzo. Love Joe Conzo. You guys know who Joe Conzo is? Yeah, Zulu Nation. Oh, this Not guy. too many. He has, he has many. more things to his I think life. Stone than Tom's that. heckling us. So. Yeah. Nah, nah. nah, Joe Conzo. That's what happens. Love having Joe Conzo in the mix. Such a beautiful soul, man. Sick body of work. Yeah. Wish. All right. And he's a real life hero. Yeah. He was true. the first responder from the Bronx. Sick. To 9/11. And he had one of the buildings uh, claps on him. He's a real deal. You know what I love about Joe Conzo? He's such an incredible photographer, and his body of work is all that, and he has the cameras. But he doesn't go around, you know, like, yo, I'm Joe Gonzo, the photographer. Like, he got a whole life. So it's one of his things he does, which I love to death. And I don't call myself a photographer, like, because I don't want to be grouped in with some people who are Jake offs with cameras. Yeah, he's definitely one worth Googling, I would say. Yeah, Google Joe Gonzo, beautiful soul. Yeah. Love, what a great sense of humor. Ugh. Great. Uh, and I got one more phone. Sick. Call. His dad was Tito Puente's manager, too. Oh, and his mom was an activist for the Puerto Rican community. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Wow. Big time. Wow. Big yeah. time. They were gonna they were gonna name um Fordham Plaza after his grandmother. Wow. Doctor. Wow. Doctor. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. But there was like this wow. whole crazy thing yeah. that happened. Yeah, wow, yeah. sick. So I got I got one more okay. um, for you guys. Um Anthony Colombo. But Estevan oh. Oreo. Now, oh. that guy posed. That's an interesting photo. That's a, yeah, it's a, it's a very That's where his, photo. Fa his father got, his father was got like, sniped. Was his right father there. like. Protesting the, the Godfather the movie. Oh, Joe, that's what that no, they was, was Yeah, they was out there Page protesting the, the Godfather movie, saying they're putting Page Italians 22. in the bad light, and that Italians 22. ain't like that. Oh, that's how he got that photo. So that was actually his son? That's his son, yeah. Ax actually, his son. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was that was definitely powerful. Cool. Yeah. So let's um add some more themes from the book. Graffiti legends. I like uh -huh. all these graffiti legends in the book, and I kind of kind of want you guys to okay. kind of kick Which some. Which ones? Book. Uh. Graffiti legends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're right? they're important. So Craig, part. Craig Craig Weatherby, he's got one of Stay High. Oh yeah. You got. Don Day White by you, Ricky No, Don, Don D. Don D. Yeah. Don D White, right? Don Day. Don D is <laughs> got, ridiculous. Got, Beautiful soul. Miss him we greatly. Got, we got Seth by uh, Brian Nobley. But let's, uh, and then uh, Zephyr and Dr. Zoe. Dr. Revolt. 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 Dude, Sorry. I didn't know you were square. Yeah. I can, <laughs> I can revolt. Yeah. Nice, cool. Oh, wow. That's uh, Stay High on the right. That's a little Jam Master J picture I took actually around the corner on Elizabeth Street during uh, Tougher Than Leather, the movie, during those times. Yeah. I like this double spread. Yeah, and it's, it's on purpose because they both have uh, passed on. So. Mm -hmm. See, that's important, man, that we put these people up so we keep their faces out there. That, you know, that, you know keep it continuous because, you know, this is important. Yeah, what, what do you got to say on that? <sighs> yeah. yeah, I laid that out, so... Oh, you it's on, did? It's on purpose. Oh, dip. Yeah. <laughs> Intellect. I didn't know you were so artsy. Yeah, you know. I do things. Dope. Dope. Okay. Dope. You can like modest. You got Seth on the uh, Seth's on the roof, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you notice, Ricky is right next to him. Yeah, that's that's on sure. Seth's birthday. That's oh, in Times yeah. That's in Times Square. Yeah, Barry's So I don't know I don't know if anybody knows I was Seth's on in here, but that's oh, my dude. Sick. Yeah, that's a sick. I was the double page. Do the double page. Oh, it's not the double? Yeah, so oh, I could show you. So I could show you on Dude, I'm amped on that almond latte. So so Deep I'm Seth's his personal photographer, video dude, whatever it is. And um, oh, this is a good one. So on his, on his birthday, he wanted to paint on a rooftop, and we had the connection already, and it wasn't with permission. Uh, he was like, I remember that. I want to go, and then I was like, Ricky, we're gonna be over here. Come through. So he, you know, mm -hmm. he moseyed over, and then yeah. you're in that double page. Dope. Did anyone see any of the videos that we posted up on Instagram for this event? Well, this was one of the pictures. Um, this one right here, this is uh, Ad Rock and the Beasties with Don D. White. 
And we were chilling on 10th Street off 6th Avenue. And I remember, you know, there's like a fine line between, you know, chilling and then becoming kind of like journalistic. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, you want to hang. And then you have to kind of feel the situation, each situation is unique. So I used to just have my camera like, you know, around here. And then if the situation I found interesting with the players in front of me, I'd be like, I gotta capture this. I'd be like, yo, can I get this shot right here? And it's important to me. So that was a good one because it was two different genres. Had hip hop, hip hop dude, graffiti dude, you know. It may it may be, and that to me was interesting. And maybe tell them a little bit how you lived above the bike store where Dondi was. Oh, dip. On uh, 14th Street. Wow. Well, yes, for the year of 1990, I lived in a little fucking shithole on 14th and 9th. And downstairs was a bike shop, and Dondi worked there. He worked, you know, he was really into biking. He worked at several bike shops and was into the whole bike scene. So, you know, I used to go downstairs and just, you know, kick it with him. He was very interesting. Very interesting man, Dondi. Very, uh, you know, street tough, but intellectual, classy, witty, everything, man. I used to be kind of like a little starstruck, even when I would walk around with him and be like, damn, I can't believe I'm hanging out with Dondi White. He was like all that. I used to call him the Fred Williamson of graffiti to myself. Shauna, do you remember the show we had at Fun Gallery? Yeah, bro. When he pulled up with Richie and like the Dodge Charger or some shit, and the whole street was like hundreds of people. I was standing far, but I saw, and I was just like, damn, that dude's like Cary Grant or some shit coming to a movie premiere. Yeah, and if you ever saw the movie Wild Style, he's the dude that did all the subway graffiti. Yeah. He's that guy. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. So Don D. White, anyone and, doesn't and, know who that is, Google him. And it's the Wizards in it too as the cop, but uh, a lot of people yes. don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, was, I like that photo with Zephyr and Dr. Revo, but my main question, oh, yeah, my main question to you That's is, a good one. what was that legendary party like? The Basquiat Warhol show. I love how this like, guy talks. How, how do you say Basquiat? Basquiat and Warhol. Andy Warhol. Well, that must Warhol. have been a crazy Warhol. show because that's. It, well, it was, why does it have to be crazy? I've been crazy in the sense that. Like, what's crazy? Crazy, crazy good? I'm just it's busting your onions. Yeah. I've known all over the world, actually. Well, I went to the opening. It was in 85 at some point, and uh, I just started taking pictures that year on the reel. Wow. Actually, I turned pro as soon as I put it on. <laughs> it just, I, you know, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to say you know. Page 58. I'm magically delicious, but uh, it just happened that way. So I went to that show, the opening with Zephyr and Revolt, which I was like, kind of, you know, I was kind of like, what was the term I used with Nandi? Starstruck. Because they were like, you know, cool outlaws. They were like this Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid of graffiti to me. So we're sitting across the street from the opening at Shafrazi Gallery, and I'm taking some pictures of them because I'm like, you know. And then Warhol and Basquiat started coming down the block. So oh, I thought I had that picture. It's not 58. Okay, can you find it for me? Yeah, sure, go ahead. So as I'm taking pictures of this dynamic duo, Zephyr and Revolt, looking at the crowd, there's like hundreds of people in the street, and Warhol and Basquiat started coming. Thank you, this shot. Yeah. It's a very important photo to me in my photography career. This one I love. So, they're looking at the crowd across the street at the Shafrazi Gallery. Anyway, after I took this shot, I took a basket on Warhol's picture coming. So, you know. For the boxing show, right? That was the one? For the, yeah, yeah. the boxing picture, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Street photography, to me, and I've said this in certain quotes, is like <clears throat> my transistor radio. The playlist is infinite. See, my Jewish boombox. I call it my black beauty. Oh, it doesn't work in here. Anyway, uh, so you know, what I'm saying is in that quote, you know, street photography and the radio, the infant, the playlist is infinite. It's like you go outside, 
the, the uh, photo ops are, uh, you know, infinite. Just uh, to play, you know, listen to the radio, it never ends. Yeah, no, that's 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 great. Thank you. Uh, now, what? Uh, I had a little sidebar, uh, Brian. Yes. How did you get that photo of President Obama's helicopter flying over there? Well, the yard, I, train yard, yeah. in Bronx. Well, but I, you just happened to be there, or what? Or you had some CIA information? No, I had I had some intel on it. Um, cause I live on Fordham, like, so I saw some crazy ass helicopters coming over Fordham, and I was like, and they were doing a test run for the um, the Obama trip, which was happening the next day. Fordham and what? So that's what what happened? Fordham and what? Belmont. Okay. Yeah, 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 over there near the DMV. Katona. You know, Katona. You know, all that Arthur Avenue. Yeah. Right there by um, Fordham. Yeah, I live literally next door to Tough City. Don't come to my house. I won't answer the door. But, so I saw, you know, because now Obama rolls with Ospreys, those crazy planes that are like helicopters. So that's an unusual sight in the Bronx to see some military helicopters like that. So then I looked on the news that night, which I usually don't pay attention to, and I found out that Obama was coming he was actually the first president to visit the Bronx in a long time, I think since Carter in the 70s. So, you know, I went over there to Lehman College because that's where we went. And I was just camped out on the bridge with that dude from Shark Tank. I forget his name, Damon something. Uh, Damon Wayne. Okay, yeah, Damon, Damon yeah. they treated him just Damon like John. a normal guy like me. Because yeah. when the president comes in town, they don't care if you're a celebrity. Yo, that security is crazy. Wow. So, yeah, that's, yeah. That's so, you know, so I got. That's how I got that picture. I was, I was chilling. So if you see in that in that picture, you see Tracy Towers in the background, and that's a real famous place for graffiti. A lot of graffiti went down in Tracy Towers. So I was trying to tie together the old school graffiti stuff, and that's the DDR too in the foreground. So you know. I got one more theme, and then we're gonna get into some Q and A from the audience, right? You guys ready for that? Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, cool. That's a crazy. Article. Okay. Hold on. Has anybody seen that article? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, that's a crazy one. Right. Go ahead. Okay, so hip hop culture is another, <laughs> another um, awesome theme. So, so Brian, you have a photo of uh, Lord Finesse in it. Uh, yeah. Tricky Powers, K KRS One, man. That mm. that set photo just kind of like yeah, brings uh, like it brings me right into that video, right? And then that Rocksteady crew photo was, was really cool and um... Brings you into that video, what are you doing, edibles again? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. You must learn, right? Oh yeah, that was a good video. That was <laughs> a good video. You must learn, that was uh... That was, was filmed that? in the was East that, Village, uh, the East Village. Okay. 10th Street Avenue B. 10th Street Avenue B, yeah. right? And then you, uh, the Rocksteady crew crowd on... Oh, that was a good one. 14th Street. And then yeah, that was the, the uh... Crazy Legs, uh, Rocksteady, he gave me the privilege and opportunity to host the uh, 22nd anniversary of Rocksteady. And uh, this was summer of 99. So, you know, I'm cracking jokes and, you know, <laughs> making a few people mad, but, you know, but then I asked the audience to pose for a quick shot, and they did. It, that's a good shot. I like this yeah, one. Yeah, that's um, page 68. And why right, you're you looking. with the page numbers. Yeah, I saw you work. <laughs> yeah. And in the, uh, yeah. This shot I shot while I was crunching on a crusty knish. And that pier is not there no more, right? That's right. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it's gone. See, they were, they were on my dolls, Nick. <laughs> this Hard. This week. Hard. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the uh, slick Rick and run. Oh, that yeah. That's like a classic. You know, what can I say? I have a knack for you know certain combinations of people. Oh, dip. Take a sip. Oh, hold up. You know which one? Oh, there's so many good ones in here. Damn. Yes, not, that, not that it's me, but... That's a lot of them. Damn, Duke. Uh, and that Lord uh, Finesse picture. It's yeah. Gano Grills wrote it's the Lord Finesse. Like, it's a tag in the background. Right. Gano Grills, who did all the Wu-Tang stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was actually there with Wu-Tang's original manager. That was the whole reason I was there with Lord Finesse. All right. All right. Yo, you see this one, Basquiat, on my Dill's neck? He was mesmerized by me. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, man, I think I look like that guy. No. <laughs> Who said that? 
Stone? Bugging. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I shot this shot while I was working at my frozen lemonade stand. So, you yes. know, what can I say? Hi. I used to take, you know, if I could just say real quick, some of my shots that I shot while I was working bullshit jobs, those are some of my classics. Because like you, you can take pictures while you're working, right? That's, right? That's why I like being bike messenger, any shots outside. You could take, you know, you know, whatever. Is that Cairo? No. I thought that was its hard rock I used to know. Go ahead. But yeah, I took okay. a lot, you know, messaging is good if you want to do street photography. Yeah, no. I, and I, can I, I just say this real quick? Yes. To people that come up to me, especially young, young bugs coming up, whatever, or, you know, they're clueless, they don't know which direction they want to go in in life, I, if that's, I just say, look, you know what, pick up a camera, take pictures. You know, that'll help, T you know, because tell, taking <laughs> pictures tells stories. You know, certain people want to hear stories, people's stories. Now, my body of work, you know, it is what it is. I'm just one man's time capsule, but certain people are interested in my travels and who I encountered because it's, you know, diverse. And uh, But, you know, take pictures. It can open many doors for you like it did for me because I never took a class in photography. You know, I'm from the old adage, all you need is a PhD. Push your dummy. <laughs> okay, so that's great. So... Now it's time for the audience questions, so... That's uh, my, my protege right there, Julia. Ain't, oh, Julia, ain't she Julia? something? Yeah, yeah. I love her, man. Like She's that. great. She got a camera on, She's too. She's fucking dope. Actually, yeah. she has the camera. I took one of my, some of all my famous photos within the 80s. With the 80s? She nice. hit me up on Instagram saying, Hey, y'all, I like your work. I bought a camera like yours. Da -da -da. Yo, can I meet you or some shit? We met up at uh, Eva's, my spot on 8th Street. And now, you know, we go, we get together for a walk and talk, which I like to call. You got a burrito at Eva's, right? Oh, yeah, I don't like to <laughs> pontificate, but I do have a burrito named after me. <laughs> no, you're that, a legend. It's you're a vegetarian legend. burrito, I'm too. You're I'm not a legend. No, I'm infamous, not a I'm legend. Infamous. I hate the word legend. It's so right. overused. It's overused. But don't worry, I'm not mad at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Eva's, it's vegetarian. You can't go wrong. Your question? Yeah, no? it's the Lazy Hustler burrito. Go check it out. All right. Um, what's oh. good? So what I wanted to know was... Um, what is good? Talk to me. Um, I may even forget. Drink. Speak, drink. Um, so my question to you is, out of that whole book, which one's your personal favorite and why? Oh, dip. I knew someone was going to come with that favorites question. Well, good question. Not mad at you. I'm really interested in like the why part more than. Okay, that. well, as I said before, real quickly, each situation is unique in the photo thing. I like the whole process. Uh, there's different kinds of pictures I like. It's like you know, I like jazz. I love jazz, but there's different kinds. You know, bebop, funky, this, that. The pictures are different. Each story is unique. Um, it's hard to say. Uh, as the famous legendary photographer Jim Marshall said that, you know, because he didn't end up getting married with kids, but he said, all my photographs are all my children. Uh, you know, each story has a unique, you know, and I get, you know, choked up on some of them, like the one with Jam Master J or with Dondi. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. I like them all. I like them all equally, sort of. Kind of. So if you could pick one that you would Oh, dip. Really this guy's love. really pushing it. All right. <laughs> I'm not mad at you, though. All right, if I got to pick one, it's my favorite street photography photo. Pick a year. What's the one that made me the most money? Um, <laughs> well, you know, one thing I'll say also, I'm very lucky because a lot of my pictures from the mid to late 80s, they're paying my bills now. Which I'm real lucky because I'm fucking lazy and I don't want to fucking do shit. So it works perfectly. I, ba I barely got here, man. I was in bed pulling my ding ding. I was like, that's a metaphor. And I was like, oh, I gotta go do this thing? All right. Oh, dip. Look at that lady. She's like, oh my okay, god. Next this question. Guy's off his rocker. Too quiet. Go ahead, go ahead. Do, do you write? I, I didn't Do I write? Yeah. I write Uncle Sloppy for all the fine old ladies. 
<laughs> That's me. So, so Mr. Sloppy. Yes, sir. Um, photography and art. All right. How do you feel about the two worlds? And photography and art, the two worlds. I got a good statement for you. Uh, this may sound a little harsh, but I don't really get involved. I don't like it. I don't like the worlds. Huh? There's a lot of fucking, I don't know, dude. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, you know, the worlds, the contemporary art, like, I don't really get to go into these big group shows because, eh, it's weird, man. It's just weird. I don't know. Just, it's kind of whack. Uh, just, it's just a weird vibe. I liked it better. Not to sound like an old geezer, but I used to get excited to go to art openings in the 80s, early to mid 80s. It was exciting for me. Maybe because everyone was like my age or older and shit was more uh, raw dog. And it was more interesting. I'll tell you, I'm going to give you a quick analogy. Duke, please. I'm trying to squeeze this out. Thank you. Look, the other day, I'm walking on A Street, right? And I pass this tall dude, like 6'7", with glasses, doofy looking, right? But I thought to myself, I wonder if this dude always gets asked, yo, you play ball? Or, yo, can you, you know, so I'm wondering if he went to college and he just played on the basketball team because they asked him, but he really doesn't care about basketball. Like, he'd rather go read a book. So it's kind of like the same thing with me in photography. Like, you know, I just do it for me because I like it, but I don't really like care about like the scene or the world because it's kind of like I don't know. I don't want to sound like I'm dissing, but you know, some people they get snotty with their cameras and they you know they get souped and they fucking act like they're hot shit. And I've had a few that I've met that were stank to me. I was like, what? Yo, you're a fucking jerk off. Just go you take pictures, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, they're jerk offs. They know it. And I have my place, my niche in photography. And I just, you know, I step aside from it. So. What, they want to act all magical? Yeah, they, no, majestic. They think yes. they're majestic and shit. So, I don't really. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not right. with that shit. Okay. Right, yo, stone toe. How's that for an answer? You were a bike messenger, right? Oh, dip. I used to mess it. I so, left mad blood and skin out there on that. Yeah, listen to this guy right here, because he knows, he knows what he's talking about. So, like, how many times have you Me? Hit, yeah, how many times oh, have you hit Kurt Boone when he was walking? Never. What? Yeah. Never, man. <laughs> Come on, I just man. met this dude late recently. We went yeah. to, we bought loose joints together at this dude. Now your experience as a no. bike messenger, like, what made you want to like create, like, find more creativity in taking your photos? Like, cause you know, as a, some of us are messengers, we always catch shit that's like impromptu, oh. you know? Well, uh, you know, I didn't really take the uh, category of street photography, like as a genre. I just did it cause I like taking pictures. I'm like, ah, oh. and, uh, what was the question? <laughs> you must be high, nigga. Um, Oof. Yeah. Um, Wigger, please. Hey, it's nigga. But, um, <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> anyway, but I was speaking of like when you're yeah, a messenger, man. like since oh. you, since a lot of us are, are cyclists, okay. and we take photos in very impromptu moments. All right. Oh, take this. Like, you can be like celebrities, right? It's like you like cross paths with someone. It's like, hey, like, can I get your photo? Would someone uh, be like freaked out or? Well, yeah, you know, know that's a good question, man. The approach is very interesting. You never know what kind, you know, kind of people you're dealing with. You know, some may be cool with it. If you ask nicely, they usually be cool. Like one time, I re I saw David Bowie. Okay. David Bowie waiting to cross the street my way. So instead of like running up on him, be like, Ch -ch -ch, I just waited for the light to change. I kind of walked up to him. I was like. Excuse me, Mr. Bowie, you know, can, can you mind if I snap a flick around any of you? And he looked at me and was like, well, since you asked nicely, yes, go ahead. Go ahead. And you know what's fucked up? That picture, I got it back. He was blurry and the background was clear. Wow. That's the one thing with the or, Minolta, or, you know, you got to push the, the thing, the king, thingy down, what do you call it? The button? <laughs> Halfway down and focus and then... Ch -ch -ch. But you know, 
Like, this is a question. Like, do you ask or do you go for it? And that's, you know, it's a, you know, do you want to get the realness of the, the, the vision that you see and go for it? Or do you want to be courteous and, you know, get it, but you might not get the same? But, you know, it depends, man. I know Jamel Shabazz, he loves to interact with people. And um, I only had one problem with someone who I took their picture without asking him, this chick in a, in a hotel uniform. She got mad. She was smoking a cigarette. She got it up in my face. Oof. And then she called this dude over. I was hanging out with Easy E. Oh, Easy E? Yeah. Oh my God. Love did, 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 did him. I saw the footage at Tough City. Oh yeah, we got zooted, boy. <laughs> Oof. When I went to go interview him at the Hilton Hotel, I knocked on the door, he opened the door, he had a cannon-sized blunt for me. <laughs> cannon. He was like, for you, Ricky Powell. I was like, what? Oh shit, this is going to be fun, Duke. So we got, you know, we got zooted, rooted, kabooted, and... I broke out my video camera because I was doing rapping with the Rickster in my old public, ac uh, public access TV show. So, you know, I was doing three things, taking pictures, interviewing, and doing my TV show. So, I used to like, you know, loved having that triple activity I was doing. But that's a good question, man. Thank you. Thank you, Ricky. Uh, Brian, you, you, uh, <laughs> you just, um, obviously you, you wasn't the messenger, but... You just like going out in the street, shooting. So yeah, but, about I, that. but I used to work down here, and I used to ride my bike from the Bronx every day. So, you know, I was ill. I was delivering myself. All right. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. This dude is ill on I the road. I delivered myself to down here, you know. I take Third Ave all the way down, you know. He rides his bike from the Bronx down here. But it's yo, sick. But he's shooting photos, too. So tell us yeah, about that. Yeah, that's dope. What you catching out there with your camera? Yeah, well, you know, whatever I come across type stuff. I'm pretty deep in the graffiti scene. Mm, that's run, his forte. I, yeah, so it kind of starts with that. But, you know, all these worlds, especially in New York City, they all intersect. So, you know, like Ricky was saying, you get better pictures if you just, you know, do you mind? Thank you very much. And keep it moving. Don't, this, say, I gotta don't try to say nothing cute oh. and just be good, you know? <laughs> Uh, right. Rick, Rick, yeah, cute. I need okay. a beer. Okay, all right, cool. We're, we're going to have a few more minutes. Right, Any know. more questions? Shh. Come on, guys. Oh, right here. Go right here. Okay. Um, I was just wondering, what do you think the, the future of photography is going to look like now with like Instagram and all the oh. filters and all that stuff? Excellent question. Excellent. Well, the future of photography? Street photography. Street. Well, listen, anybody can do it. Um, yeah. I don't know, do you know, uh, I'm not mad at anyone. I, I've asked, I've been asked this question a few times. Like, what do you think Instagram? Anyone can take a picture. I'm like, that's yeah, fine. I, that, that doesn't matter. That, that, you know, it doesn't do anything to me, affect me. Ricky, in a minute, I want your autograph on this beer. Please. Yo, what do you want? I want some. He's on that ripple. Ooh. I want your autograph on this beer. Please. Okay. Here, take the beer, please. My man. Oh, Negress. Thank you. Nice and cold. I got, I got one going. Oh, light up. Right. Jerk off. Yeah, do you have a messenger too? So, yeah, you see you have four times square. Oh, really? Light yeah. messenger? Yeah, yeah foot messenger. Nice. Foot messenger. Nice. Like me. You know, actually, uh, Chrome, they did a nice messenger bag. We did a nice collabo. They put my pictures on there. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah, we put it in the promo video for this event. Thank you. Impulsive or calculated? Interesting. Well, you gotta bring your camera. So well, <laughs> calculated. In that way. Well, you gotta be prepared. So if you really are focused on being a f photographer, a street life, you gotta leave the house. Make sure you carry the camera with you. Now, then it's up to life. Uh, are you looking at your well, like, when, when, you, when you're taking the picture, when you decide you're going to take a picture, is that an impulsive thing? Or do you look at a situation? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> nah, I mean, it just depends, dude. You know, one of my favorite, if you people look at my Instagram, to anyone who's interested in this, this part of time in my lineage, I like photographing dogs. Woo. I like dog shots. I got a good hashtag. Dogs are uh, dumb, dumb founded. 
by me or dogs are mesmerized. And I live next to the zoo, so I'm always, oh, I'm always up in the zoo. Love that Yo, shit. And if anybody didn't know, every Wednesday all year round, the Bronx Zoo is free. That's so cool. dope. I yeah, know. and so That's dope. take advantage of it, cause they they charge a lot of money to go. Dope. There, and I'm, I'm always in there, so that is so dope. I see you. I see you near the Tigers. That's what <laughs> I, know. I hang out over there. Yeah. That's dope. He has the Bronx Zoo. Yeah, he deals with them, and then I go over to Washington Square and I feed the squirrels. Yeah, oh, we, no. we both got pets, public oh. pets. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I like yeah. it. I like Public it. Public pets. Yeah. Animals, they're definitely part of my equation. Yeah. yeah. And it's good to practice with animals. They don't talk <laughs> crap. Do you have a favorite focal length that you shoot at? A who? A favorite, like, lens focal length. He don't like what that. What is it? He's yeah, not into men. Yeah. I don't I follow that, that kind of thing. Like, like, you, like, last year photography, just, like, I had a short fisheye lens phase. In the late 80s, someone, Ad-Rock got me a fisheye lens attachment, and I got all loopy with that. But uh, now I just work at the basic 35 millimeter. Keep going. Okay, good idea. Good. I like that. No? All right. All right. Okay. Don't get Ken upset. What's your name? Kurt. Kurt. Between, between those cameras and this one? Uh, good question. I got asked that in an interview. Well, with the film, you know, it has this beauty and shit, but I used to not get shit developed. So, the digi, at least you get to see it right away. I like that for me. So, it looks good. That's the bottom line, how it looks. Yes, sir. Do you all feel more comfortable shooting in your own neighborhoods? And are there some neighborhoods you don't feel... You want to take a well, that's common sense. You don't go to the bad ones. <laughs> I go to the bad ones. Oh, shit. He does. He's a hard rock. I, I, yeah, I go with my goon. Yeah, it's good. That's what up, Joselito? He's, nice. he's over there selling nice. the book. Yeah. We've done some jobs in some crazy hoods. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. If, if you go in like any, I think a lot of people here, especially if you're bike messengers, you mind your business, you act right, yeah. you're good. Yes. You ain't got no problem. Good point. And you just keep it moving. Good point. Yeah, once was... you got to work there, then you don't keep it moving. <laughs> I got chased at outside the Apollo once after a Rock Kim show. I broke out my brand Nubians membership card, then they let me alone. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hi, Ashley. I have a question here. We're actually going to go do a podcast with um, Sadat X pretty soon. Oh, dear. I, I love that. True. True wine connoisseurs. I, Oof, I think you guys should look into I that. I love that dude. They're, they're, talks, shooting, they're he, shooting a whole new season right he now. He sounds like an old Jewish lady when he raps. They I got love the, him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they got their own wine label, so it's going to be cool. That's dope. That's dope. He's dope. Oh, ahead, one Talk to me, young man. So like, the quiet uh, one. Oh, from, you're loud. From the 80s and 90s? Okay. Not in New York's all gentrified. Photographically, do you think it's more interesting? All right, yo, dude. Yo, dude, I just asked you nicely before. Come on, Thor. Dude, all right? Short, Seriously, short, Thor. I'm, try, I'm short trying thought. to hear this, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, so from the 80s and 90s to like gentrified New York now. Oh, you shit. You you went there? More, you think it's more interesting or it's more boring? Oh, shit. Yo. All right. You want me to answer that one truthfully? Be honest. I grew up in the 80s and 90s. <laughs> okay. I think it's more boring. It so. Shit is wick wick now because... It's just kind of like, listen, I live in the West Village, right? My block was cool when I moved into my building in the 91, but now a lot of rich new jacks come in, they give funny looks to other people, or they just act like they're this, and I'm just like, dude, you're a fucking cornball. Don't you ever look at me like that again. I'm the fucking reason you moved here, bitch. <laughs> so, you know... <laughs> The gentrification thing, you know, listen, and I'm not on that tip like, yo, I'm from here, so you best, you know, so I'm the shit, blah, 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 blah. It's not like that. You know, I'm down to embrace anybody who comes correct. I'll embrace them, blah, 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 blah. I'll be like, yo, you know, da, da, da. I'll walk around with them, give them my soul. But, you know, if they come with that shit, then, you know, then I'm like, dude, you're a fucking jank off, dude. I got news for you. Check yourself. You're not cute, right? Isn't that You're not you adorable. <laughs> so, whatever, man. But you know what? There's still cool shit in different genres. You just gotta go find it. It's not gonna be handed out. But that was a good question. Yeah. Go Thank you. Good question? 
Nope. Okay. Oh, Jeb, take okay. a sip. Right. Oh, All hey. Right. Melissa, right? From Queens? Uh, Brooklyn. Oh, Jeb. Oh, ooh. Nice. Thanks for coming out. I like it. Did I show you a picture the other day? Remember? Right, pull it up. <laughs> oh, you guys? You guys are cool? You're ready for music? What's the deal? All right, yeah, we're going to hang out. Anyone want, want some con conversate? We're going to go over there. They're selling sign. I'm going to sign books now. We got some books. And, uh, yeah, I guess. You going to yeah. play the funky jazz? Yo, one second. Stone Toe. They're, they're 30 bucks. It's Joselito over there selling them. Get them off his phone. Yeah. Any uh, questions or you want to ask me privately? Either way. Anyone want to say anything out loud? Love you. Love me? Oof. <laughs> thanks nah, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Yo. Thanks everybody for coming out. Thanks everybody. Oh, yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you.